New at 10 happening tonight, Amarillo Mayor Paul Harple addressing the many concerns of residents in light of recent city turmoil. After new council members asked for the resignation of city manager Jared Atkinson and the board of the Amarillo Economic Development Corporation, the mayor says he's shocked. ABC 7 Stephen Graves joins us live in the studio with the mayor's message to citizens. Stephen? Yeah, Lisa Larry, in that more than two hour meeting today, it was open discussion, but question after question from those residents. The biggest topics, downtown development, and of course that major decision that will be made tomorrow. But Mayor Harpole says the ultimate fate of the council business lies with the very people who filled those seats today. This is to the discussion. One by one, questions addressed to Mayor Harpole at his town hall meeting Monday night. This is the sixth meeting in a series for the mayor, but tonight's had a specific focus. Of course, today we heard a lot and discussed a lot about what's happened in the last week at City Hall. It's the recent call for resignations of City Manager Jared Atkinson and the AEDC board members that has many residents out for this meeting. The latest developments causing shock and questions from people gathered here and even Mayor Harpole. I had some people criticize that I used the word shock, but I was. And I think that it is important that we look at this very carefully and understand what's at stake. And I mimic what many other people have said to me in the last seven days about shock and concern about the path we're going. Harpole says the very solution to his concern starts with the very people who sit before him. His message, stay involved, but it's a sentiment easier said than done. Well, this meeting here again was a reflection of lack of city, city uh, citizen participation. Those that are outside of the circle of understanding are only hearing one thing. Mayor Harpole says over the past week he's heard outstanding support on his side of keeping these city officials in their position and he says if anyone has an opinion to come voice it. It's time to uh, stand up, speak up, or forever hold your peace. Now that vote and discussion on the resignations of the AADC board members is tomorrow at 5.30 in the City Hall Chambers. Residents who want to speak get up to three minutes to do so. We'll, we'll be sure to have full coverage of this tomorrow. Now reporting from the Candy Broadcast Center, Stephen Graves, ABC 7 News. All right, thanks, Stephen.